A one-of-a-kind vaccine freezer that can store vials at ultra-low temperatures has been launched in Johannesburg. The prototype storage container has been developed by Renogen, a South African natural gas company. The container has been designed to keep COVID-19 vaccines ultra-cold for up to 30 days and could store up to 6,000 doses. Leanta Naidu has a story. It's a freezer almost as ice cold as liquid nitrogen and is pegged to be the solution that will ensure the developing world can deliver world-class vaccination programs. It's called Cryovac. The Cryovac can operate from minus 150 all the way up to 8. The second thing is that it needs no electricity. So this case, unlike the dry ice solution which lasts for three days, this case will be able to sit in the sunshine for 25 days and maintain Pfizer's temperature. South Africa has secured 20 million Pfizer vaccines, which are expected by the end of April. But key concerns are maintaining the vaccine's ultra-cold storage temperature and ensuring this isn't breached in transit. This freezer will be able to ensure ultra-cold temperatures using liquid helium stored in the bottom chamber. The helium moves through a series of pipes, actually boils, and then lets off an ultra-cold vapor which is fed into this top chamber. This chamber is insulated with space-age foam, which ensures that the vials are kept at the correct temperature. If the storage temperature is not maintained, the vaccines could become ineffective. This has been one of the challenges facing our country. A very, very high ambient temperatures in South Africa, which is a very big challenge. We've got long distances to travel. Uh, and uh, often when you get to the point of vaccination, uh, there's a lack of infrastructure. But Cryovac could help close the gap between vaccines and vaccinations. To go from vaccine, which is a product, to vaccination, which is an outcome, that gap is all about logistics. It's how do you close that gap of getting a vaccine into somebody's brain which makes it vaccination. Marani says orders have already started coming in from countries abroad, adding that they'll be ready to go into production in a matter of days. Riante Naidu, Johannesburg.